Good evening, everyone. How are you all? Hello, Nancy Ben. <laughs> we are gonna keep going with Icicle Creek. Um, and yeah, I don't know how close we are to finishing it, but uh, no, we don't. Oh, you oh, do I have that to right. folder. No, not that one. Oh, it's different. The, oh, here we yeah. go. Yeah. I'm a professional. <laughs> okay, so we left off where we have we were gathering tokens. We decided we needed the pig token in order to be able to play and win the game. Um, yeah. Hi, Avery. Avery. Um. Yes. So. So, I don't remember. <laughs> I have to read stuff or something. Well, there was the journal. This is what we need yes. to reference. Okay. One thing's for certain, without an intelligent creature. Okay. I fixed the vault passageways so you can see if your animal <gasps> is dumb oh. or smart getting lost in the vaults. I remember what we need to do. So... We went out to that little hut, and uh -huh. then Isis, poor name, Nancy Games, but um, came in, and we had to get a like article of clothing or whatever from each person to smell. Oh, that's right. Okay, I did. I did leave myself a note. It said I couldn't tell if it was an old note or if it was a new note, but it just said do maid chores and get item from each person. Okay, <laughs> right. So it's but 10 a.m. <laughs> so we have to do a lot of cooking um, and then yeah. some, yeah. yeah. But we can't even do the cooking yet. We have to go sleep first. Um, yes, Avery. I wonder Avery. if there's anything we can do. I don't, Sorry. I don't know that there is much we can do right now, honestly. Um, but yes, this is a lodge. Uh, the game, I don't think, knows if we're in Canada or the United States because it's kind of alluded <laughs> to, like, we're both. to both. <laughs> so yeah. it's, a, it's unclear. But, you know, that sort of area. Um, yeah, this one's nice. I like the vibes of this one. It's very cozy. Um, and you get to talk to a wolf. Yeah, we're BFFs with a... A wolf so mm -hmm. it's fun for me what time is lunch noon yeah Ding. I don't remember how you get the pig token but I have a feeling it's not here I mean just kidding. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. All right. I have to take pictures of these. That's right. So we have one order, two, three, four, five. Okay. <coughs> All right, so one quesadilla. Order up. Okay, the next one, hamburger. Another hamburger. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so I don't. We, there's four tokens we have to gather, I think, if I remember correct. And, um, yeah, I, I'll have to read that notebook again because I really don't remember what the deal was with the tokens. I just know we needed to gather them. So we'll figure it out. One mustard, one ketchup. Done. Order up. All right, the next one, two cheese, 
one lettuce, two pickles, no tomato, two onion, one ketchup. Order up. Okay. Quesadilla. Easy peasy. Order up. And the last one is a hamburger. <clears throat> Lauren stepped away for a moment, so that's why she's not replying to me and I'm just babbling to myself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my Wi-Fi cut out. No, no worries. Two pickles, one onion, one ketchup. Okay. Nice. So... Let me review this. What does it say about the tokens? Um, okay. If you're a knucklehead and lost my magnetic key, don't run around yelling like some crazed wolverine. I've done it many times and came up with an ingenious way of getting back into my needle. As for the rooms, well, you'll just have to bust down the doors and remake the key. Um, the first thing you need to do is crack my cipher below or just follow the moose, wolf, raccoon, and Mary, which I think are the four tokens that we need. And we have raccoon and moose. <clears throat> so first things first, you know what? I'm going to type this out so that I don't have to reread it like, an, <laughs> like a ding dong every time. I'm sure it's painful to <laughs> to watch. <laughs> okay, first things first. Period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, locate my secret hideout. Um, H-I-D-E-O-U-T, up in the mountains. Did it. Check. Did that. Um, it's I-T apostrophe S. So? so? It's so yeah. secret, you'll probably never... Find it, okay. So secret. Except that we did. Uh, but if you do find my Rex, right? Yep. If you do find my Rex bones and use it, or Rex bone, and use it, U-S-I-T, in the wall, yeah? Mm -hmm. And use it in the wall. Uh, of my hideout. I really struggled reading this last time. Uh, I think it was because I was tipsy, because this is not so hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah we typing. Drinking and it was like midnight. <laughs> yeah, it was late, and my brain was just like, uh, I don't think so. How about no? <clears throat> All right. Um, that, that'll, that'll, uh, open up my secret clock, no, secret lock, lock, open up my secret lock, moving on, <laughs> then, uh, match my wits with W I T H the wait the infernal yeah. slot machine. 
match right. my wits with the infernal slot machine. Uh, okay. Use the duck count counter. Use the duck counter. <clears throat> the game, I think. C O U N T E R to match up all three animals. To match up all three animals. Um It helps to first, mm-hmm. first uh, put the same animal, put the same animal, A N I M A L, in a column and work from there in a column and work from there Mary always had a fox's cunning about her okay can't find Mary does that mean Mary the actual pig or Mary the token the pig okay uh, try pulling on that rope above the vaults. It'll open up a surprise at the end of the hallway on the second floor. Uh, you'll just have to keep it taut. Mary always helped me that, with that once she got through the maze. Now you just need three more keys to open the keyholes. Yes, there's more. <laughs> yeah, there's more. Let me... Um... Okay. All right, there are three more animal, oh my God, my phone, three more animal keys hidden in the lodge, animal keys hidden in the lodge. Is that what they are, keys? Or what it says. Are there separate like separate things? They're not. Okay. I was thinking we had to find more crap. Okay. Uh, (laughs) I was like, oh god. Um, Okay. Hidden in the lodge, the moose. Uh, right. T. Yeah. The. Okay, he just capitalized moose. I'm not sure why. Okay, the moose, the wolf, and the raccoon. Um, it's easy to find them. Okay. Easy to find them and find the moose oh find the moose thank you because i was like what is O O S? um <laughs> find the moose just put just push out his eyes we did that, right? Because we have the moose yes. one. Just push out his eyes it. and see the surprise. And see. Yeah, we did that one. Okay. God. Okay. Uh, the fire. Yeah, fire necklace oh yeah necklace we did that as well 
uh, will U I L L um no. will tell you all you need tell you all you need to uh to t o p which o t o and then p o to open p o o p e Okay, God. <laughs> we open. did this one too. Uh, to open the elks or the the sly raccoons hiding place, right? Yeah. Raccoons hiding place. <laughs> we had to do this a little bit, so we. Did. And then it says, "Just don't wake the lodgers." Okay, I'm not going to type that. Um, the wolf is um, the trickiest. The wolf is the trickiest um, to find because... Uh, only the likes of Marie Curie. Oh, right. Oh, right. This is just out in left field. <laughs> yeah, this really comes out of like, nowhere. Only the likes of Marie Curie and Geiger, right? And um, Marie Curie or Mr. Geiger. Yeah. Can hear her call. Or something. His call. Can hear his call. Okay. Oh. Is that really it? I think so. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. So. <laughs> so we need to get the bone, and we're going to get the bone from whoever left the journal. So that's the sense thing. We also need to look for a, a radio. Is it, it's called a Geiger counter, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. So we need to get to tomorrow morning, basically, right? Yeah. All right. Let's go to sleep until it's dinner time. I'm pretty speedy at this. <laughs> kind of annoying. Fun, but annoying. That we have to, like, if we want to get to the next day, you have to do three meals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's... At least it's not, like, that bad of a mini game, you know? Like, there's worse yeah. mini games in the Nancy universe, so I'm not going to complain too much. Secret of the block. Yeah, the bane of my <laughs> Nancy existence. <laughs> I found I found a Nancy YouTube channel. Um, I don't remember uh, the name. I'll have to check so you guys can go watch it. Um, but she, um, shoot, I can't tell if I did three cucumbers there. 
It looks like just mm. two. I don't know. So it can be deceiving. Yeah, we'll see. Something don't look right. Oh, damn it. Do this one again. Okay. Um. Anyway, she she did like a top ten list for um, like worst Nancy puzzles. Oh really? Oh my god. And she I mean she did it well. Like she had like a whole ranking system as to like what makes a good puzzle and like what makes a bad puzzle. So she was like pretty objective with it. It wasn't just like these are the ones I don't like doing. Um Yeah. But she uh Fox and oh, Geese right. was on there for sure. And then Oh my god, yes, it's so bad. It's so bad. And then um there were some like it was a no spoilers sort of video so i watched the whole thing um but there are the other ones on there i would say out of the 10 like seven of them we haven't seen yet in our playthrough and i was like oh, oh no, no. <laughs> i was like uh oh, <laughs> oh we're gonna be feeling it <laughs> that bodes well and a couple of games were like double offenders where they had multiple puzzles that were considered uh, bad and I was like bleh. Do you remember the one in Order up. It was like the very very first game that we played and it was the floor. And we were there for so long we had to like fix the floor tile or whatever and you had to do like the wood grain lining up and Oh my gosh, yes. I do remember. Yeah. That one was I think That's up there. That one was like, it was pretty bad, but it was more so not a bad puzzle design. It was more so just like a bad, like the game wasn't great. <laughs> so it was like, it wouldn't click yeah. into place. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, yeah. It was a very early game. Yeah, so like the puzzle itself was not all that bad. And like, it was clear like what you needed to do and stuff, Order which up. was one of her like stipulations. She was like, you know, if it's a, if it's a puzzle that's like difficult i don't mind that but like if it if it's difficult and also doesn't f really explain what the hell you're supposed to do <laughs> yes exactly that's when it gets so frustrating um so yeah it was it was bad um i'll have to go watch that yeah i'll have to I, mean, I'll, I don't remember I will check the Order up. YouTube channel when we um, close out the stream, if I remember, try and help me remember, um, so that if people want to watch it, I can send them to the her channel. Fox and Geese is just like, it's so, it's rough to win, and you have to do it for Time. Yeah, that was what she said. She said one of her things that she counted against a puzzle for was if it um, disrupts the flow of the game too much. And that one is really bad about it, I feel like, because she was like, yeah, you have yes. to play it a minimum of three times and you have to win it those three times or else All you're going to be playing times. it over and over and over and over again. <laughs> mm -hmm. And get and trap the wolf or box or whatever in the corner that it needs to be trapped in right like not just any of the three yeah not just the most convenient yeah <laughs> Ugh, yeah but all right love this game <laughs> yeah i i'm still enjoying this one this one's top of my list so far one of the top ones I would love to stay in a lodge this cute. Yes. Um. So breakfast is at seven. So we could do maid stuff. Oh, right. We have to get clothing anyway. That's the whole point. Yes, yeah. I forgot. I don't feel like. Okay. No, I don't want. Don't want to read that again. Thank you. Okay. I never did call her during the day. She made it. Oh yeah. Oops. 
She'll probably get mad about that, but oh well. Uh, okay. Is there anything to snoop? Anything new to snoop? Can we do anything with this beaver? No? Okay. Yeah, we just I think like I'll keep one of these washcloths. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad she just sort of automatically does it. Yeah. Skirt. What is this? Oh, right. There was a radio. Yeah. Which I don't understand why it's there. I don't get that yet. I can't go in there now. Oh, right. Ah, shoot. Do you think that, like, clicks off at a certain time? Mm. Or are we, Maybe. like, not going to be allowed to go in here today? Because that would be some bullshit. Yeah. Do we need... I guess we can try it after breakfast. Um, yeah. Because we have until, like, noon or something, right? To do... <laughs> yeah. Devin. Stop. The way dogs can make so much noise licking themselves. I know. And just the worst noises. It's so gross. It's disgusting. I understand that it's, they're just keeping themselves clean, but man. It doesn't sound that way. <laughs> it does not. Does not sound clean. Raja likes to. Okay, so I get up after Zach usually. And he'll get up and he'll go feed her and then let her outside. And when she's done with all that, she likes to come get back in bed with me, which is cute, right? Yeah. Until she inevitably starts cleaning herself. Mm hmm. And it's just like, I'm trying to get like 30 more minutes of sleep. Oh. And you're like, Raja, just stop it. It drives me up a wall. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. I just burnt oh, no. all the toast. All right, well, this is ready. Order up. It's like a routine, and I feel like she Order knows up. that we don't like it. So I'm like, go somewhere else. <laughs> Do your business elsewhere, please? Okay, we got two bacon, two spinach, two cheese, two peas, one green pepper, and one olive. Okay, that can go on there. Three French toast. Order up. Okay, three Canadian bacon. <clears throat> Actually, we're just going to do two more of those. I don't, yeah, I don't, as far as like being forced to do the cooking a lot, I don't mind it so much in this game. Yeah. There are worse Nancy mini games. <laughs> For sure. For sure. <clears throat> Yeah. Did I do this? I did this. Um, and when it's like, I don't know, you have to do them to make money. Mm -hmm. Because you need money for dumb things. Like the snow cone thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a, um, there's like a money making game in Sea of Darkness. Well, there's two actually, which that's, that's why I like it is because it um, kind of gives you the option of what you want to do to make money. Yeah. Um, whereas most of the time you don't really have that option. Okay, omelet, one bacon, one spinach, one cheese, one pepper. 
the way I'm making myself a cappuccino at 6.33 p.m. Uh, honestly, <laughs> Avery, <laughs> YOLO, Friday night. What? I mean, what else are you going to do? Uh, it is Friday night. My days blur together. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Same. live your best life. <laughs> if that's making a cappuccino at 6.30 p.m., then that's what it is. <laughs> My, um... Coffee always sounds the most appealing to me at, like, in the evenings. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. More so in the mornings. Okay, so there's nothing to, like, pick up in this. Can we use his lid? Maybe. Is it on this side? No. How do we... Mm. I can't even go on that side of the bed. They did not just have us need to get clothing items and then he doesn't have a messy room. That is... I think they did. <laughs> ridiculous. <sighs> All right. Is there anything else we can do? <laughs> Do we have to have all three clothing items before we go back to the wolf, or can we do them one at a time? I don't know the answer to that. I mm, Is it one at a time? What does it say? No. Um... I mean, observation. as well go try it. <laughs> but we have to, the thing is, is to try it, don't we have to go out really far? Yes. So we need a whole to, big process. we have to fight that little girl over and over again. So like, I don't <laughs> want to do it, that but... multiple times either. Okay, I can. Uh... Is there any way to get the other tokens? Three more animal keys hidden in the lodge. The moose, wolf, and raccoon. It's just, it's easy to find the moose. Just push out his eyes. We got that. We got the uh, fire necklace told us where the raccoon was. The wolf is the trickiest to find because only the likes of Marie Curie or Mr. Geiger can hear his call. So we definitely do not have whatever it is. Have we called this number? I think we did. Um, no, we didn't. Did I we not? Think so. I wrote it down. I almost dialed this number the other day because I like for work because I use the same notebook for a Nancy game so that I do oh, for no. work. <laughs> and I I was like looking for a number for uh, something with work that I knew I had written down and I saw that phone number just kind of like jotted down in the corner and I was like, oh, that's it. And then I was like, wait a second, this Wait. is a 555 number. <laughs> <laughs> um, we could make some calls. Also, it is one at a time. Oh, okay. Well, I still Can don't want to do that. I don't know. I still don't want to go out there multiple times or as few times as possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. I. Do you want, to t want me to tell you if we should or shouldn't? I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can go out there. I like how in all of this, we never suspect Ollie. Yeah. Like, we don't have to get his clothing. That's true. Wait, so we don't need all three? We don't need all the clothing before we can go out there? It said that you have to give them to Isis one at a time. So. Well, yeah, no. but if we go out there and... I mean, I don't know, like, surely we would let her smell it and then do it. 
do what we're gonna do and then we can do the next one or do we have to like wait a day each time I don't what know. do you mean well I'm just saying like if we go all the way out there we might as well have all three with us because yeah we might only be able to do one at a time but we won't have to make trips all the way back to the lodge between them right well so Isis is just gonna tell us if the scent matches the notebook and that's it oh okay well we, right. we have the matching scent okay um so we need we have five of these. Oh, I just used one, so let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, oh, no. I didn't mean to click on it. This child. Avery, have you seen us hit this child in the face multiple times? Because <laughs> that's the best part of this game. Sweet. <laughs> For the really good sound. Oh, no. We didn't it didn't it. happen. <laughs> All right, well, it's straight out this way, right? Or is it the snowmobile tracks? Oh, I forget. It is the snowmobile tracks. I also forgot. Right, because we have to do the little snowmobile driving thing. Yeah, maybe. I can't. Um, no. Would you have to put on the snowshoes, though? Yes, thank you. Uh. Okay. Hello. Hello, cuteness. I shouldn't give Isis that. I should give her the notebook. What? Well, well, okay. Okay. I don't oh. need to put these on now. Looks like it's not Yanni's. Okay. The scents match. Which means those notes belong to Lou Talbot. Okay. Great. Um. <laughs> what do we do with that? Confront him? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Because we need the bone. Mm hmm. Which he stole. Right. And I like how we're just going to be like, yeah, we also need the boom. And we're not going to put it back in the display case. I'm just going to take it. <laughs> no, right. Like, I don't own it either, but you need to give it to me. <laughs> uh, the Nancy, like, entitlement is real sometimes. <laughs> she crosses that line that you get with, like, Lara Croft and Indiana Jones and stuff sometimes where she will like do anything to solve the case and mm -hmm. kind of like like regardless of what <laughs> who she offends or what's in the way of it. Yep. <laughs> ah, warm again. Okay, great. What's that? Now what? Lou Talbot, charged with trespassing, vandalism, and theft, found digging on private property, creating a piece of earth architecture, inspired by Maverick artist Poppy Dada. 
of keeping the dinosaur bones dug up in the process. Dinosaur bones? Wow, something useful that Tina said this. Amazing. I thought he was useless. Amazing. Yeah, so Lou Talbot of Brea, Brea, California, was arrested early on the morning of August 1st and charged with trespassing, vandalism, and theft when he was discovered excavating on private property outside Whitefish. Talbot declared that he was merely creating a piece of earth architecture by pushing dirt and rocks into new shapes and contours. I mean, okay, sir. An art <laughs> movement inspired by Maverick artist Poppy Dada. I do remember her, though. Oh, my God, Poppy Dada. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Scarlet Hand, right? Secret of the Scarlet Hand? Yes, yes. Uh, authorities eventually dropped the theft charge after Talbot convinced the property owner that he had no intention of keeping the dinosaur bones, which he had inadvertently dug up in the process. Man, every paleontologist out there is like, yeah, you just accidentally dug up dinosaur bones. I hate when that happens. Uh, okay. Let's... It's like the Nancy games have their own like set of celebrities and well-known people in this world. Yes. It's kind of great. Sir. What's up? All right. Do you think I could have the Rex bone that you took from that plaque by the display case? Dude, what makes you think I took some bone from some plaque? <laughs> I mean, cuz a wolf told us. <laughs> cuz a wolf <laughs> told me so. Don't deny it. Um because you referred to it in your notebook, which I found outside in the snow. Notebook? Someone who has a really good nose for such things is positive that it's yours. All right, here's the deal. There's a lot of people out there who collect stuff like fossils and dinosaur bones, okay? They pay big bucks for them. And it just so happens paleontology's kind of my thing, so yeah, I collect bones and I sell them. Collect. Right? Uh... Steal? <laughs> So when you saw those stools over there, you recognized them to be dinosaur bones and decided to try to unearth more. Except I haven't unearthed anything. I'm not the one who's been making things go boom out there. I mean, I may have found a couple of good specimens in a couple of craters, but I didn't make the craters and I don't know who did. There. That's the key to the closet in my room. You want the bone from that plaque? Go ahead and take it. Okay, dude. Excitement's over. Who's moved? He was so like, uh, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> right, just like inconvenienced by the whole affair. Yes. Right. Uh, and then he gave it up at the end. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, yeah, just just go take it, whatever. Like, okay, I will. <laughs> Thank you very much. Look at all these bones. Lou's been a busy guy. Here's the one I'm looking for, the Rex bone that's missing from that plaque. Great. <laughs> I suppose we should make lunch before we go out there. Yeah, it will. It does take like a while. It will, it's very, very well made point. That was how I got yelled at last time, as I went out there, and it just, it takes so long, and then you just kind of forget. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have every intention of being like, oh yeah, I'll come back and do lunch, and then you come back and it's like three o'clock. Yeah, like, well. exactly. <laughs> well. All right, two, three, four, wait, hold on. It's like one of those didn't take. One, two, three. Yeah, I only have three. I have Bills, okay, that's Freddy. That's the one I don't have, weird. <clears throat> My camera was just like, nah. All right. 
We'll do that one first. One quesadilla, one hamburger. Okay. Cheese, two lettuce, two pickles, no tomato, one onion, and ketchup. Order up. All right, the next one's Bill. All right, just a quesadilla. Super easy. Order up. Yanni wants a hamburger. We got two hamburgers. Okay. What is your ideal hamburger? Well, you know, without me. Without the yeah, I got you. <laughs> um, like from these ingredients or for anything? No, from anything. Um, let's see. I mean, I love a blue cheeseburger. Um, but I, I, I don't know. Yeah, just like a normal burger with all like all the way, but instead of cheddar, blue cheese. That's usually my order up. My go-to. I'm not big on like egg or anything. Yeah, um, it's a little um, I have to be really hungover or something to want like a runny egg on my burger. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I just I like a nice like pretty classic simple burger. I think I prefer cooked ingredients over raw, like sautéed onions over a raw onion. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I love onions, so it's kind of a bad example. I would eat any form of onion. But yeah, like, same. <laughs> tomatoes. I really like sun-dried tomatoes on birds. Which I know isn't cooked. I mean, kind of. <laughs> um... I, I see for me with sun dried tomatoes, I feel like I have to have very specific other ingredients that complement it. That's a good point. Yeah. But I'm also very picky in particular, so. I like mostly just like a big old salad on a burger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was some beyond meat and some bread in there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's pop these on and one of those and head on out. Am I doing the right thing right now? Yes. Okay. I like had a moment of like you're going the wrong way. <laughs> Wait. And I was I was like using all the things and I was like, well, I want to make sure first. <laughs> but yeah, we're okay, we have the boat. <laughs> yeah, right, yes. We have the <clears throat> Okay, let's pop that in there. Okay, this is the part. Oh, yeah. So, per the notes, it says, um, put the Rex bone in the wall and that will open up my secret lock. Then match my wits with the infernal slot machine. Use the duck counter to match up all three animals it helps to first put the same animal in a column and work from there so i'll bet i'm supposed to use this tile to start with oh you put it at the top right so like you drop it down yeah okay but then 
Okay, I guess I'll just so, do that just I can to see. Rearrange these by continuing to drop the tile that falls out the bottom into one of the columns at the top. The question is, how should I rearrange them? Match the symbols and line them up in rows of three, maybe? Okay, yeah, that seems so pretty obvious. Nancy. Yeah, so it's just fish, 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 owl, and then rabbit. Yeah. Is, is how I'm interpreting that. Yeah. Okay, so. But it says to put the same animal in a column. I'm like, how is that helpful? I am not sure. Um. So I think this one, this one's in the right order. All right, so if we push out, <clears throat> hold on. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Um, back to this. So we want rabbits on the bottom. So if we do that, I think maybe he tells you to do that. So you have them all at the ready, if that makes sense. Yeah. So like if you go like this, uh huh. Then I think. <clears throat> maybe, oh, you could do like all the rabbits. Right. I think first. that's what. If you do. Rabbit. 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 And then we have the duck. So then we can do. Um. Yeah, we want owls on top of rabbits. Like that. And then fish. Right? Oh, wait, it got mixed yeah, up somehow. We got a Okay, I'm gonna eventually. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna redo this really quick. Yeah. Fish, rabbit, 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 fish, fish. Okay, so yeah, if we do rabbits first, rabbit one, rabbit two, <clears throat> rabbit three, and then we want to do owls. So then we can do. Owl one, owl two, owl three, and then we want to do fish one, fish two, fish three. Then, these are just in the, they're in the right order, but just Like off by one. Hmm. I'm not sure what do I want to do here? How do we switch those two? I think it meant do all the animals in one column and then move forward, which is technically what we did. So duck counter mesh, it helps to put first put the same animal in a column and work from there. Okay. So 
we want duck or we want rabbit and then owl. And then fish. How's it going? Uh it's going fine. I just I think we just need to do this in a different way. So I just finished yeah. resetting it. <clears throat> So if we do rabbit, hmm. You leaving? Okay, bye. You're allowed to talk, you know. <laughs> okay. Bye, Hannah. <Hannah-no. laughs> Oh man. Okay. Got it. Uh, but, 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 but. So, yeah, if we push rabbit down and just leave one rabbit in this column and then the rabbit here and that there. Ooh, and then do that to get the duck again. And then that whole column is done. Yeah, mm, this is what I did last time though. So, oh, okay. so if I do, but if I do this, that's the wrong order. I mean, yeah, that's what I did last time. So if we do, if we get the duck, because now if we push out a fish, it'll be in the wrong order. Yeah. Won't it? Or will it? I'm not sure that it will. Oh, you could just get the duck out. Well, um, if we get the duck out, but then there, this is exact. Yeah, this is what happened. Oh. Do you need to do them the other way? Like, do fish first? Hello, food. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, mm. Oh, I think you did. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, because then there's a duck. Right. This is that's what happens every time. Is there's you get a duck in between the owl and the fish. So it's like this is in the right order. Mm-hmm. So if we do that. Um, hold on. So it's rabbit and then owl, then fish. So then rabbit, then owl, then fish. I wonder if you if you had done that. On the one on the right, you would have gotten the fish out, and then you could have put it with the duck to make the duck come out. So you need the the duck to be in the last slot so that you can put a fish in the top and boop it out. What? Okay. What do you mean? So like, 
end game is that you have a fish out like you do now, and the right. duck is on the bottom. Mm-hmm. So the last thing you have to do is put it through, and the duck comes out. And you had it somehow, but you put it in a different slot. So if we get the duck at the bottom there, so it needs to be duck, rabbit, owl, right? Yes. So we have duck and then rabbit and then owl. Right? But then, okay. So what we should have done is put the fish on the other one. <laughs> You're moving so fast. I think uh, there's a bit of a delay as well. Um, okay, let me get it. Let me get it reset so my brain knows what the hell I'm doing. <clears throat> So we need a fish now. I, um, right. Shoot, but the rabbit and the owl are switched, yeah. but that would have been it. So if we do fish, um, Do you need the duck to be below the rabbit? Yeah, I don't know how to make that happen though. I mean, if we put it in. <clears throat> so you have to, I guess, cycle through it again and then put the like put the rabbit in over here that one, I guess yeah because if we put rabbit because we want it to be duck rabbit owl, owl. and we want to have a fish so if we, yeah so if we Um, so then I guess put that one back up in the same column, not that column, this column. Yeah, and then put a rabbit on top of it. So then that, once this rolls around, it'll be duck, rabbit, owl. Oh, but we needed an owl to go on top. Oh my god, it keeps changing. That's the thing, is like we figured out, but like it just every time we use a different column, it changes. Yeah. Yeah, so you can do that and then put a rabbit. I guess, yeah. Yeah, because we want duck, rabbit, yeah. owl. So this yeah. column is in the right order. Yeah. So, but if we, and then we can put a fish here because there's an owl here. Yeah. So we can get a rabbit out. Ooh. And then we, if we put another in. Oh, and then, oh, but no, but then we'll get the duck. Shit. Um. <laughs> we know what we're supposed to do. I know. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's good. Ooh, and then put that over to the... That one. Yes, yes, okay. Put that one over there. And then you can put the fish in the middle one. And then we push it down back into this one, right? Yes. Bingo. Oh my god, is okay. this not it? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, hello? <laughs> Please. Well, this is quite cinematic. <clears throat> the lanterns in here are basically just rocks hung in cages. I wonder what makes the rocks glow like that. Uh, um, are we... Should we have a rad suit on right now? Because <laughs> I feel like we should have a rad suit on right now. Uh, Accurate. Well, it's these. Looks like the map to some kind of maze. Right. Okay, what does the journal say about this? Lots of things. Yeah. Mm. Make sure your pet can jump as there are pits and make sure it has paws or hooves to move the levers. Okay. All of those have paws or hooves, so I don't know. Um, Useful of raccoon. So, can I not do anything with this yet? I guess. Uh, turn around. Turn around. Bye. Yeah, I don't know. let's look around the room a bit the more. The wolf followed me. I oh, wonder hi. if she expects me to do something. I'm sure she does. What's this? Okay, I don't. Yeah. Don't want to like move on, move on. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, go in the hole. <laughs> Is it literally like... Forward. Isis, forward, go. Oh, good girl. Maybe. Okay. Such a good girl. Oh my god. My dog is outside barking up a storm. <laughs> okay, so she comes in here and we want her to take a right. What are these are holes? So it'll be yes. right so forward right jump. Um, what are these? Just like, will she just stop there? Yes, I think so. Or does she like turn around? Let's I see. do not believe she can pass. <clears throat> All right, so forward, forward right, right, jump. jump. Isis, forward, right, jump, go. And then I, go. I just want to see okay. what she does. So will she go? And then if she turns around, we can tell her to go right again, I guess. She didn't jump over it. Wait, what? Can I just tell her to go left? So if we go forward, right, left, does this, will she just continue or do I have to tell her to go right here? I think it's 
I don't know. It's uh, like a continue, doesn't it? Yeah, I would no, say like... it's a continue. There's nowhere else for her to go. So forward, right, left, right, jump, forward, left, yeah. forward, right, left, right, jump. Forward, right. right, left, right, jump. Isis, forward, right, left, right, jump, go. Come on, Isis. Smart. You got it. You're such a good girl. Oh, well, okay, so right, left. Right, jump. I don't know what happens. Is she just in there now? What the heck? Okay. Oh, yeah. Go up. Yeah. So, like, levels to the mines, I guess. Oop. Hmm. Hello. Uh, right, we have to keep the uh, rope taut. To do something. I don't remember what. <laughs> <laughs> no, damn it. Uh, okay, um... Try pulling on that rope above the vaults. It'll open up a surprise at the end of the hallway on the second floor. You'll just have to keep it taut. Okay. What does that do? I don't know. I guess let's go that way. Oh, are we about to die? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just, Maybe it like, die. it really, it like took the camera and so I was like, oh, this is a second chance and we're going to die. <laughs> I heard like a crumble right before she took a step forward and I was like, this is it. We did. A moose, uh... a, bull, a raccoon, and a pig. The same animals Trapper Dan mentioned in his journal when it came to getting into his needle without the key. I'll bet that's what's behind this wall, a room below the needle. Next thing I have to do is get each of these panels open. So we opened the wall. Does that only happen when... Oh, I guess you just... Do I have to drop it, like... No. Uh, we have to do it in the maze, I think. What? What? Hello? Uh oh. It was just telling us. Next thing I have to do is get each of these panels open. Yeah, we know. Okay, so we have to go back to the maze at the bottom layer? Question mark? I guess. Are those gates like can she go under under them i am not sure you're the one who's played this before <laughs> i know and i'm trying to remember what is up is she still holding this rope uh, yeah she is okay well i'm a i vaguely remember her having to hold it while I went back to the lodge to do something. Oh my god, really? Which is like animal abuse. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I don't love that. Uh... Okay. Hey puppy, you're such a good girl. Okay. So we want to go left. Down. Down. 
Yeah, because if we do this, like... How yeah. do we open those gates? I, I don't know. What is... Does it say anything in the... Um... Oh, I wonder Doesn't. if that's why we have to win the box and piece game. If that opens these... I don't know. I mean, that kind of makes sense because there's the, th you know, a left, right, and up for that. But, but we need the pig token. Right. Which. Uh. I remember where that is. You do or you don't? I do. And I'm wondering if because she's holding the rope. my god, I do not like these little cutscenes. Why does she walk all crookedy like she that? She walks like, I, yeah, I don't know what's going on with all that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where this pig token is. It's, it is it's, not here. It's at the lodge, right? I mean, these... Yeah. As well as the wolf token. Right. Hello. You tell him, Raja. <laughs> she just ran past into my bedroom, puffing and grumping. <laughs> Is there something in there? <laughs> We're walking through creepy tunnels. Don't do this to me, Raja. Okay. I mean, do we need the wolf to get the pig token? Like the fact that she's holding it isn't going to be a problem, is it? <sighs> Much better. I don't really think so. Cold. I say just look around. I feel like we've looked so much. But now she's holding a rope. Who knows what that could be? <laughs> oh, that's true. She that's waited for us to walk all the way back. I just realized from this angle that this is here. Oh. It's just like we like stand right next to this bear. It's strange. <laughs> anything with the fireplace? I mean, this thing's still empty, presumably. Yeah, and we did all the this is how we got the notebook, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I haven't been down here in a while. A 
hello, I don't actually want to talk to you. Or you. <clears throat> Okay, I guess we will go upstairs. It's getting close to dinner time. Aha! I'm only supposed to use this door if it's an emergency. Ah, okay, his mouth is open. Okay. So. So for real, that wolf waited for us to come all the way back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he set that up too, like, as like, this is the perfect plan. Yeah, I'll just have a thing. Hold this rope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's very silly. Um... So we can play. Yeah. He's snoring. So we decided last time we were going to cheat. Huh? Yes, oh, because we have successfully beat it once. How yeah. Another game of box and geese. Now you're talking. Have a seat. Ready? All right. Hold on, please, sir. Nancy Drew, Fox and Geese. Puzzle. Tell me how to play it and win. How to skip <laughs> fox and geese. <laughs> People are not having it. Oh, this is like fussing with the game code. Oh my um, god. That's not what we're trying to do. We just want the solution. Please. Yes, I know how to win. I just don't feel like suffering through it multiple three times. times. Yeah. Probably more than three. The ads on this website. Okay. The board's shaped like a cross, 15 marbles. My favorite is the universal hand system. They usually give solutions at the very end. What's it called? Universal Hint System. Universal Hint System. Okay. Yeah, their thing is really cool because you can basically like go as far as you need with hints. Mm. Um, and it doesn't spoil the actual solution if you don't want it to. Um, okay, opening the animal panels. No, that's not what we want. Fox and geese, there it is. It says, read to the very end of this hint for special instructions for those games. Okay. I see. Oh, yeah, I see. It's, like, compressed. Cool, right? Yeah, so that you don't get spoiled on stuff. I love that. Yeah, so this has been really helpful for all the Nancy games because, as we have said many times, sometimes the Nancy games are just, like, you have to do a very specific out of the blue thing before you can move on mm. and it's dumb and so i will often come to this because it'll just like in the first one or two hints it'll like be like oh if you haven't done this yet this is why like it's not working so do it like ah oh, okay thanks yeah so would you mind to use would you mind if we use this little pig i found in place of the fox piece fine by me Okay, so it says uh, 
After you've been in Trapper Dan's tunnels, you have to play and win three times using a special piece that will make the eyes of the animals around the outside of the board light up. Uh, to do this, you'll need to have the pig counter and ask Bill to use that piece. The game is essentially the same with the pig as it was with the fox, except now you have to trap the pig in specific places um, next to the moose, the pig, and the raccoon. You can trap the pig anywhere in that six square block and the eyes will light up. Um, oh, but it doesn't tell you how. Fox and geese strategy one. Um, it doesn't give you a step by step. No. I guess maybe the way he moves is random. Maybe so. So you can't do a step by step. Oof. All right, let's just try, I guess. We'll suffer through it. <laughs> it's going to be rough. But, so. I can. We have to spout us some other fun facts while you try to do this. Which three animals do we want? Which one do we leave out? The pig? The wolf. Okay. Because remember, it was already up. Oh, right. Okay. Um, Okay, so he will jump us. So let's. I guess let's shoot for raccoon first. Um, oh, it says since Bill plays slightly differently every time, I can't give you a step by step. That's absurd. Yeah. There are some general hints, though, or help. Um, don't move a piece until you're sure it's safe. Sometimes the best way to get a piece across the board is to move it alongside the outside edges. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot longer, but you're less likely to lose it. Um, it's frustrating. Be patient. <laughs> yeah. A good overall strategy is to slowly and carefully empty out the place where you want the pig to go, then set a trap for him. That is, put in two side pieces, then place a freestanding piece for him to take that will put him in between the two side pieces. If the fox won't go where you want, try slowly and carefully blocking off the portions of the board you want to keep him out of. You can try to pick one of these strategies and set it up to look like that. Oh, I can't do that. Um... Well, this is good. I wasn't paying attention. And you have got him in one of the two places that you need. So, nice. Yeah, but we're stuck in a tete-a-tete a -tete -tete in that he threatens this one and then I move to protect it and then he threatens this one and I move to protect it. Um, if I take this one away, he can't make any jumps but he can escape. What if you... Uh... Okay. I can get him to move here if that's helpful. But I don't know how helpful that is. Mm 
If I move this one... Can you... So, if you do the same thing where you protect that one and then move the one in the middle... Uh, one in the... I was going to say the bottom middle down, but then he could move one down. Yeah. And then you'd, like, basically get in the exact same situation. Mm hmm uh, and the only place we don't want him is the bottom. Yeah, so if we make every effort to keep him out of the bottom, I mean, if we move this one, so if we move this one here, oh, then he, he can't jump anything. No. So if we do that, Oh, he is still trapped in there. And then if we move, like, what if we move, like, this one over? Or we could take this opportunity to get this one over. Yeah. Closer. To help out blockading him in. Mm-hmm. Because he can't make any jumps right now. Still can't make any jumps right now. I suppose you... Oh. Yeah. But now we are much more covered here because that one's over here. So... Well, now you have to move it back down because now he can do the diagonal thing. Right, yeah. Oh, we'll... nice. Yeah, okay. But now we can protect this one the whole time. Right? Because he can't make any jumps if I put this here, right? No, he can go up to that middle bit and do a diagonal to the raccoon. But he can't do it this move, right? If he goes no. there... Right, he cannot do it this move. If, so if he moves there, it's a threat to jump out here. Yeah. Um, what if we move this one now? No. <laughs> or if we put this one... If we move this one, no, then he'll jump. Um, if we move this one, over one. Well, hmm. I guess we just move the one in the middle, the one right above your mouse, over. Because we don't really need that one in any other capacity, do we? This one? Yeah. I don't think so. So if we move this one here, is that what you're saying? You want to move it? Oh, right. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that that's where he can jump right now. I mean, yeah. We have, yeah, we have to protect this spot right now. Yeah. That's the only option. It's yeah. just which token we want to do that with. Because then he's just going to move up, and then we have to protect the one up there. Mm-hmm. So that's why I was thinking that one could permanently go over there, but we have to have something protect the other one. Right. Oh my god. I hate this game. I hate it so much. I say move that one. I think that's a good move. That is not what I expected him to do. No. Okay. So. <clears throat> He's probably going to go to the center next. Yeah. So if we move, if we move like this one up here. He'll jump it. Oh, he will jump it. What about there? Yeah. 
or should we oop. oh god can you just like get out of that <gasps> are you kidding me oh okay, my I god I hate oh this. my god This you game is you like brutal. I, <laughs> I mean, I knew it was going to be like this, but that doesn't make it not brutal. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to do it grumpily. So if I do No, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm back. Are you trying to trap them in the bottom? No. Okay. That's why I'm putting these here. <laughs> ah, so he can't keep going there. Gotcha. Dude. Zach, did you want to have your new theory? No? Okay. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good plan. <laughs> Zach was just reminiscing on the time that I enlisted his help for this game, and it was horrible then, too. I don't remember that one day. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, this is looking good. So yeah, as long as I don't... I think he's... I mean, if we just... Yeah. So if I move this, so let's, if I move this one, mm -hmm. and, and then, then just, just yep. protect it. See, what I don't get is why this is not considered trapped. Like, right. I know he can still move, but he can't get out of this box. Right. It's dumb. Then can you just fill that one in from the top? Yeah, like this. Yeah. Just to make it extra safe. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. But then you can go up there. Yeah, you want him to. Come here. You can do the bottom one. Yeah. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I am bored and. Okay. Okay, we start over. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> he just like destroyed us. The thing is, I think I would be just as inept at this game if I was playing the pig. Like I don't think <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Like I don't know if I would be any better at it. I'm nope. gonna look up some fun pig packs. Pigs are cool. Mm. And surprising facts about pigs. This is just going to make me sad that humans eat them. <clears throat> Newborn piglets learn to run to their mother's voices and can recognize their own names by the time they're two weeks old. Little babies. Oh, that's very yeah. cute. Babies with names. What's Kirk's pig's name? Petal? Petal, yeah, Petal. Um, adult pigs can run at speeds of up to 11 miles an hour. Yeah, so they can run a seven minute mile. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I think in my prime of life I could do a 730. That's certainly not the case anymore. <laughs> um, pigs hardly have any sweat glands, and one of the best ways for them to cool down is to wallow in all of that glorious mud. Oh my goodness, a pig's squeal can be as loud as 115 decibels, which is three decibels higher than the sound of a supersonic airliner. That is loud. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what? Pigs communicate constantly with each other and more than 20 different vocalizations have been identified. From wooing a mate to saying, I'm hungry. Wow. Public service announcement, stop eating pigs. <laughs> They're too smart. <laughs> Ooh, this one is less peppy. In 2012, a farmer in Oregon, America, was eaten by his pigs after having a heart attack and falling into their enclosure. I mean, I feel like any carnivorous animal would do that. Yeah, I mean... They were starving because the owner is not there to feed them anymore. Yeah. Oh, wait, don't do that. Because he can jump the diagonal one. Yeah. Alright, so he's stuck in there. So if we bring these ones around. So. If I move like this. And then when you do like that, 
He can't jump out. Yep. He's stuck in there. And then I'll just do that. And then I think same thing if we get him to move back to the corner to like so now if I move maybe this one yeah you could go to the middle I don't know if you want him to be able to move to the middle mm. but that traps him along the edge Some of the edges. If I move here, yeah, then he will go up probably, right? Or down, because then he could jump down too. Mm. But we could then bring the. Either way, we'd have bottom. to just—it's just this spot we have to protect. Yeah, exactly. All right. So if he goes there. If we bring like maybe this one over, yeah, then he can't make any jumps. All right. If we do this, he can't yep. go diagonally. So then he has to go up. But I don't know if I want to do that yet. I'm going to protect this first. Because then that gave him like a an out if we made like one wrong move. Yeah. Like all the way out like he did last yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> like he takes like 10 of our pieces out. Yeah. <laughs> so now if we go here, he, yeah. if he moves right, we can protect. And if he moves down, nothing's in danger. Yeah. Okay. If we move there, he can only oh, move. Oh yes, and right? you don't have time to protect it. Yeah, because he'll have to go up, and then we can just protect it down. Hmm. This one maybe. Yeah. So if we do that, he's stuck, right? He can't move. Yes. You're pretty good. Ah. Well, would you look at that? His eyes turned red. That is some pig you got yourself there. Okay. We don't have to do them all okay. in one go, right? I want to no. quit and save is what I want to do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Also. Huh? Dinner oh. time. Dinner at six. Now what? Oh yeah, it is. Oh my god. I'll let you get back to your nap. Hasta siesta. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we did one. I need to go to the bathroom, so I think I'm gonna take a quick break, um, and we'll yeah. be right back.
get them. Yes. Okay. We're back for more. Huh? Oh. oh, well, we had to do... Sorry, well, I forgot. Sorry to bother you. You no, want to talk? You know where to find I kind of want to say fuck dinner, but I guess we got to do it. I mean, you can Let's see what happens. I know. We've already missed one meal, though, and she's going to be extra pissed. There's another person not here? I know. There's only been four things for the past two meals. Lou isn't here. Yeah, I don't fully know why or what's going on there. Dinosaur bone stop stealing them. He's like, okay, I'm out. Yeah, he was like, I'll just leave. One spinach, one anchovy, one carrot, two cucumbers, one crouton. Dang. Order up. I wonder if um, he's only there at certain times, so I'm gonna be really annoyed if he's not there. Um, yeah, I feel like he's not gonna be there when we go back. Alright, one anchovy, one carrot, four cucumbers, two croutons. What the? No, thank you. Order up. Okay. One egg. Yeah. Three peppers. The only play was there by himself, which is lunch until about three or four. Okay. I mean, that's good to know. Yeah. Anchovies, carrots. <laughs> Four cucumbers, one crouton. Order up. <clears throat> While you were gone, I kept reading about pigs. Oh. And they snuggle when they sleep and prefer to sleep nose to nose. Oh my gosh. I know. How? Ugh. <laughs> I don't understand how people eat them. Yeah. I know. Wait. I heard snoring. <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh my gosh. I guess because Lou is gone. Maybe this is the game being like, I know you have reached a point. So. <laughs> right. Like, we're not going to be total dicks about this. <laughs> we're going to make you play it three times. But. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's shoot for. The pig. I'm going to replace the fox okay. with my pig this again. This time. Go right ahead. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, there's a population of wild aquatic pigs on this island that yes. is swimming out to the boats. Yeah, you can go swimming with them. Not that I think you should, but it's a, like no. a tourist attraction to go swimming with the pigs, which I must admit sounds delightful, but yeah, it's very, and they're like the really cute, like spotted pink and brown ones. Yes, gosh. <laughs> but I feel like pigs could also be pretty nasty if they wanted to be. Oh, they for sure can. Um, Dang. yeah, especially wild pigs. Like, I would not fuck around. No, <laughs> they do damage. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. That's crazy, though. All of my pigs facts come to you from the pig site.com. Oh, well, there you go. Straightforward. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
I'm just trying to like totally empty out the top. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the strategy of just sticking to the cor the edges is pretty useful actually. Like yeah, it takes a long time, but you can't he you. like you don't have to constantly fret about him taking your mm -hmm. pieces. So now I'm on to record text. <laughs> <laughs> Just try to make it a little bit more interesting for the viewers. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. Cause I'm just <laughs> I can't I can't solve <laughs> this. I can't do this and talk because I'll make some dumb mistake and it'll all be for nothing. <laughs> we'll jump our piece in my entire Yeah. Um, so raccoon, the black mask that they have works just like um, athletes, when they put the black stickers or the markings under their eyes, I did know that it's because the color absorbs incoming light, which reduces glare um, at night when raccoons are most active. Less peripheral light makes it easier for them to perceive contrast in objects of their focus because they're nocturnal. Oh my goodness, there was a raccoon that lived in the White House. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of fun. Her name was Rebecca. Oh. It was during part of Calvin Coolidge's presidency. Oh my gosh. It says it wasn't an uncommon sight to have a raccoon for dinner. But once he met the live critter, Coolidge decided he was more interested in adopting her than having her for supper. Oh, She got an engraved collar and everything. <laughs> That's amazing. She was a part of the annual Easter egg roll and frequently accompanied the president on walks around the grounds. Oh my god. Coolidge also had a pet bobcat, goose, donkey, two lion cubs, antelope, a wallaby. All right, now that's a little much, sir. <laughs> that is too much. At first, I was like, oh, cute. He likes raccoons, but that's uh, sketchy. <laughs> like, uh... What? I've got him mostly trapped, but what would you do here? Because I don't know. I guess I would try to make him go up and then. But move, well, I mean, specifically, what is like the very next move? Because, like, if I go here, he's going to go here, right? Yeah. If I move this piece up, he's going to move there. And then I can technically protect this one from being jumped. So I guess if I do that now, oh, but then he can jump that one well, as well. So if you, he can come right back. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's always if you just move like, does he keep going to that bottom one? Or does he move like up if you just move any old piece? Okay. So then. Then well, we can do this. 
But then he'll... Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. But then we can protect it. Okay. Tooted. Woo! Oh, her toot smells so bad. Wow, there was a study done on the differences between behavioral patterns in city raccoons and countryside raccoons. And they found that city raccoons have to like basically step up their game. And when planted garbage cans containing food were in um, both areas with like the same tricky lid to open, the city raccoons could figure it out and the country raccoons couldn't. Yeah, raccoons are like too clever. Like they are. Yeah. They can, I think given enough time, there are so many like locks and contraptions and stuff that like, especially if there's food on the other side, like they figure it out. Yeah. You win. Another win. Another set of records. Nice. <laughs> oh my God. Huh? Now what? How about another game of One more chat. Now you're talking. <laughs> Ready? It's this is fizzling my brain slowly, so. I'm going to replace the fox with my pig again. Go what if ahead. you did what if you forgot to say that and you played a whole game in one but you forgot to replace the pig? That makes that me would the, be awful. the thought of that makes me want to cry. <laughs> I didn't even do it, and the thought of it makes me want to cry. Oh, can't do that. Those raccoon facts came to you from mentalfloss.com. <laughs> Thanks, mentalfloss.com. All right, moose. <laughs> the last one. Moose are so cool. Moose are huge. They weigh as much as 1,200 pounds. They are absolutely gigantic. Have you seen a moose in person? Did you see any out in California? I have not. I was, no, not in California. We did take a trip up to Canada once and um, I didn't see one that was living, but there was like a life-size statue of one mm. that I stood next to and I was Oops. like 10. Mm -hmm. uh, it's absolutely insane. Yeah. There. My, I have an aunt that lives in Montana and they've like seen them you know, while they're driving in their car or something, and they're like as big as your car, like they could just, just like, topple you over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're pretty docile, but I mean, just like any 
animal they can get spooked and um, you know when an animal gets startled it's not really ever good I lost a token I, I lost oh. I lost a, a goose it's okay you don't need them None of these facts are very interesting. I'm sorry. I'm looking. <laughs> oh, no. It's totally fine. <laughs> I very much appreciate somebody else being able to just talk while I do this because it's hard. Oh. Hard to be entertaining at the same time. Yeah. So I didn't know this, but they lose their antlers every year, just like antelope do. Hmm. I guess they're not technically a D. D. Oh. Are they? An, I don't know. <laughs> it's confusing. They are. They're the largest species of deer. So they are a deer. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I had it backwards. Deer are the ones that lose their antlers and antelope are the ones that don't. They grow throughout their life. I don't know why I had that reversed in my brain. Oh god. Okay, we start Antler over. growth. Aw. I just, is, I lost three, so it's lost like, eh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Antler growth is based on testosterone levels and day length. So they start to grow antlers in the late spring and summer and they're covered in velvet. The mm. velvet is vascularized, so there's blood flow supplying the antlers as they're growing. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, it looks really gnarly when they are like shedding it, um, because it, I mean, it because it's vascular. There's blood flow there, so it looks like awful. But I don't. I guess they don't care much. I guess they're used to it. Yeah. Oof. Have you seen that? Uh, just pictures. Just pictures. I've seen a moose once in person, like in reality, but it was very far away. So it was like it was like across a river from us, um, in Glacier National Park. Mm. So, you know, there was like not really much scale to be able to grasp just exactly how large they are, how big it was. Yeah. Right. Ugh, A full grown moose's antlers can weigh 40 pounds. So they have really muscular necks to hold them up. Yeah, no kidding. That's a lot of weight on your neck, especially. Whoa, they can swim at up to six miles an hour. dying pretty fast which is upsetting and there's a study out right now that has held no clear answers as to why hmm. it may very well end up as a mix of causes related to health predation habitat weather and even climate change Woo! I mean, most big animals are not doing well. Yeah. Mega. That was also brought to you by Mental Floss. 
Thanks, Mental Floss. Don't come after me if any of that stuff was inaccurate. It's just on the internet. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't know if there's coming back from that. So have you only lost three so far? Yeah. I think you could die. It's a hard maybe. He's not doing what I would expect him to do. No. Which is fine. <laughs> if he just wants to move back and forth over there, then whatever, I guess. <clears throat> or snow hmm. well being from Florida I have not seen snow very many times <laughs> <clears throat> there was one time it snowed for like two seconds and it stayed on my jacket for like a little bit before it melted yeah okay and we start everyone over. freaked out <laughs> <laughs> it's like the whole city was buzzing because of two seconds of snow do you remember that? I think you're still living here. Um, it's like I don't think ago. it ever did when I lived there, if I remember. You remember I was at Rooms to Go with one of my friend's moms. Oh, when it was like snowing. Yeah, and like the whole store ran outside. <laughs> oh, Florida people with the snow. <laughs> Get so yep. excited. Yeah. It's pretty wild like we do not know what to do when it snows or freezes or if there's like fires or anything mm -hmm. but when I was staying in California like fire they're cool with it they live that life 
but they do not know what to do when it like floods mm. or like rains exponentially hard for even a, a short time like when I was there it probably rained twice and one of the times it like downpoured for about 10 minutes mm-hmm. and they were freaking out about it they were like this is does it so much and you know sometimes it just like freak rains and I'm just like it rains like every day here <laughs> okay we start over I'm struggling to do the raccoon for whatever reason how did you do the moose I just ran them around the outside I like I cleared out this side Do you need to fully clear out that side? Um, no, but it's just been super helpful as a strategy so far. Like with the first two, that's what I did, yeah. and it um was really helpful. It's just that with this time, I keep emptying it out and then losing pieces, which is not yeah. ideal. Are you, I don't know, trying to move faster so that we get done with this? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, not consciously, but just maybe subconsciously ready to be done with the puzzle so that I'm moving faster than I would. Yeah. Fuck. You need to move that one. This one? Cause you, yeah, because you can't protect it, so you're going to have to move it. Yeah, that works. I don't want to. Uh, I don't know. You can move that one. Oh, well, he did go for it anyways. Um. Yeah. I could do this one though. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then when he moves, yeah, away from the middle, you can move the middle one in. Okay. We got <clears throat> this. So, past strategy was get him to move out of the middle. And then move the side one too. Oh, that also 
Well, yeah, just do this yeah. so that then he can't. He has to go up or down. Mm -hmm. When he goes there, you, you move. You want to protect this. And then he still has to go up or down. So if we do this. Uh -huh. And then protect that. Mm -hmm. And then we do this. Protect that. And then we do this. Because then he'll go down. Yeah. And then he still can't go anywhere. So then just. Oh my god. The... <gasps> okay, we start over. Oh. We could have had it. I am aware. <laughs> 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 okay. Um <laughs> Do you have a favorite song? A favorite song? Yep. I feel like I should, but that's hard to like I know there's so many songs. Come up with like right out of the like out of nothing. <laughs> okay what are some things that make you happy um playing video games <laughs> running usually right <laughs> usually running running Decorating. Yeah, if I'm in the right mood, decorating for sure. How far do you have to run tomorrow? Eight miles. That's a big one. Are you training for a half again? Yeah. Yes. It's on November 14th. Nice. He can't jump me right now, can he? I'm not missing something. I don't think he can. No. Good. 
No. How do we... Is it this one? Okay. If I put it in the middle... It's protected, right? Unless he moves to yes. this side. Yeah, like right now. So then if we do this. Yeah. And then protect. Protect it. Yeah. And then this. Yeah. And then protect it. This is where we fucked up last time. Where I fucked up last time. So, if we move, I don't think, I mean, if we move one of these in, he'll go and down, go down, and then you move any old piece and move the other one in. I believe. And then move one of these. Yeah. And then, oh my god, okay. This was painful. This this knocked this game down a peg, for sure. Okay. Right. So, we should be able to go... Yes, but it is... Well, yeah, I mean, it's nighttime. But like after breakfast in the morning, yeah, we should be able to go out to the cabin, go down into the mines, and run the maze, right? With all of the animals? I do believe. Okay. Let's wake up at six, do the maid stuff early. Go back to bed and then cook breakfast. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Up. One done. Next one. Uh, that scared I me. Jacket. I'm getting a definite feeling I'm not wanted here. Ooh. All right then. Get in the leave notes. This isn't our room, though. And oh. There's Wait, no. What? This isn't our room, and there's no laundry to do, but there's a laundry note. Whatever, I guess we're done. <clears throat> Oops. The jacket wasn't our room? No, that wasn't our room that we were in, but she was like, my jacket. So they didn't, That's it's like they didn't put it in our, I guess, I mean, I know they probably know we're doing the maid stuff, but like, it's kind of weird. All right, let's do this breakfast. And then go outside. One French toast. 
free bacon. What is your favorite breakfast food? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I'm from the South, so for me, it's some form of biscuits and gravy, but mm -hmm. most of them have meat. meat in them, but I make a good tomato gravy, and it's delicious. Uh -huh. You make and... the best tomato gravy. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's like tomato gravy, coffee, and maybe like, I don't know some watermelon, some sort of fruit or something to liven it up a little bit. Order up. But yeah, I'm not I'm not like an egg a big egg fan, so yeah. Most breakfast things are like egg based, which isn't my cup of tea. Um, I do love a waffle, but like I see I'm also like really picky about like sweet breakfast things. Yeah. I have to be in a very that. specific mood to want like pancakes or a waffle. French toast is a little too weird for me. It's yeah. Like... It's, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Egg bread. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, yeah. It's a little odd. This one doesn't have a bacon yet, right? No. Okay. So it's an omelet with a bacon. Two spinach, two green peppers, and one olive. I potatoes. Oh yeah, hash browns. Any form. Yeah, I <laughs> don't know how I forgot hash browns. That's how you elevate any breakfast for sure. Yeah. Any Anything type of potato. That comes with the potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Order up. I will say like that alone was worth the price of our food processor because now that we have a food processor kendall makes homemade hash browns like he shreds them himself and stuff and like fresh like just shredded made hash browns are so good ah oh, that sounds amazing yeah i will text him and be like why did you not make me have <laughs> you should <laughs> definitely because it's his like go to <laughs> usually saturday mornings when i come home from my like long run he's got potatoes going which is so sweet 10 out of 10 <laughs> way to please a person who just exercised a lot yeah um okay we want to go out see um, uh, oh, okay. I feel like we probably, how many things do we have? Two, I'm gonna do a snowball fight really quick just so we have an extra, yeah. just in case. You never know. She's not even a character. She's she just, just <laughs> is a means to an end. Literally, just like I don't. You win. Here you go. <laughs> we are probably well, maybe I don't know. We probably won't be back for lunch, but at this point, <laughs> I'll just save or something. I don't know. I cannot be asked. All right, let's put on the shoes, take the hot pack, and go. I, I like how I say take a hot pack like it's a pill or something. <laughs> Man. And I mean, those work, but like, I don't know. They For this? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Oh. You'd have to have them like all over your body. Right. At least one for each hand and foot, and like yeah. maybe somewhere in your hat or something. Yeah. All right. This poor wolf has been 
holding think... a rope. <laughs> For like 24 <laughs> hours. I think he's still up there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll feel no, really I bad, but maybe she is. She's not down here. Oh, there she there is. She okay. Is. Okay. We okay. might have to. Oh, nope, they're open. Okay. So we're trying to get to these levers, I presume. That to sense. make the little switches go down. Mm -hmm. So if we say forward and then jump. You might have to do forward for each cross section. Okay, so forward, 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 jump. I think. Let's try that. If she falls down forward, a bit, that would forward, be upsetting. Forward, forward, jump. Isis, forward, forward, then yeah. then forward, jump, claw. go. For the lever. Oh, you do you? Okay, I didn't, I forgot that. Let's just see if she jumps into a pit or walks straight into <laughs> a pit first. Because that might be the case. Okay, so she knows to jump over it when you so you don't have to lead her back. Yeah. Okay, so we did that right. Forward, 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 jump, pa. That's a good girl. Unless she goes back and sits down in her little spot. Forward, 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 jump, pa. Isis, forward, 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 jump, pa, <laughs> go. <laughs> okay. It's weird. Do, 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 do. <laughs> This needs like music. It does need music. Man, I I told Kendall when I went to bed last night that the the music from Sea of Darkness was just like plonking away in my head. Like I was trying to go to sleep and I was like, I can't stop. <laughs> oh, it's a, like a little jotty little nautical tune and it was just really <laughs> logged in there. <laughs> okay, so forward, left, left, paw. I yep. think. Forward, left, left, paw. Yep. Nope, no, that's not. Forward, left, left, paw. Isis, forward, left, left, paw, go. This all, when written down in the journal, sounded so much more complicated. Like I was. I was like, yeah. when we first read that, I was just like, I don't understand that. I don't. <laughs> I'll I figure it out when you I get there. <laughs> reading that part, and I was like, it will all make <laughs> so much more sense. <laughs> I feel like it was um, misleading. It's, it's just a lot. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It was a lot of information all at once, and I was like, I don't mm -hmm. know what is relevant for me right this second. That's how the journals always are. Like, you always find a journal, and it's always way too much at first. Yeah. And well, and then you're reading it thinking, like, oh, it's given me something. I'm supposed to be doing something with this. And then yeah, you're not. Right. It's fine. Okay, so forward, right, forward, jump. Let me write that down. I don't want to say it a million times. Forward, right. Forward, jump, left, paw. I think. At least I think that's how this whole intersection is going to work, but. Trial and error, am I right, Isis? It only means that you jump down a, a pit. Right. <laughs> forward, jump, left, paw. Isis, forward, right, forward, jump. Left, paw, go. She's like a robot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, <Yeah>. boss. <laughs> I'm just trying to 
make it okay in my mind by being like, she's mentally stimulated right now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Yay. We did. Okay. So we should be able to go upstairs now, right? I love little rumbles. Yeah. Okay. I want to leave this. Okay, there we go. Um, was it this way? I can't remember now. No, this is the room. Yeah. What is oh. this? It wouldn't let oh, me I come this far elevator. last time. Yeah. The or elevator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, to the needle. God, every time the camera is taken from me, it's startling <laughs> i'm always like oh god somebody's gonna like pop out of the side of the frame like hey watch it open hey let me punch you real quick <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay you have to put the tokens in oh see i was thinking it wouldn't let me do that because it wouldn't let me earlier but we don't have a wolf token is we that okay token hold up yeah. How do we get the wolf token? It's the one with the. It says like Geiger and Marie Curie. Oh my god. But I don't. I we never found a device or anything, so I just assumed it was something we would find later. I also want to assume that. <laughs> I have that website open still. Let me check. Um. The tokens. The four animal counters. Wolf is the trickiest to find because only the likes of Marie Curie or Mr. Geiger can hear his call. Applies to the wolf counters radioactive. Yes, okay, we know this. In fact, you'll need a Geiger counter for to find the wolf counter. You'll find one in a place you've visited before where it will suddenly appear after you read Trapper Dan's journal. Maybe in the hut we have to, like, look around some more? Maybe. That's the only place that makes sense for it to be to me yeah, yeah like the fact that it's i mean the wolf thing is in the lodge but the geiger counter i would be very surprised if it wouldn't really make much sense if it was in the lodge yeah unless like someone randomly had one and they let you borrow it hi sweetie i love her <laughs> she's so cute Yeah, I mean, is there any way to get... Is that what the radio is? We can't take that, though. That's no. Because I that's not what a Geiger counter looks like, but that's which is why I didn't put that together. But, I mean... Uh, I don't think it's in here. Oh. Oh, no, this is just where... Oh, on the left... Did it go back? Hold on. Uh, just for? Uh, hey. It's gone now, I guess. Um, you see on the left, bottom left? Oh. That looks like a guide. This okay. measures radioactivity. I wonder if Isis found it outside somewhere or in here. Um... And it's in the lodge, right? We need to go back. 
That's what the journal said, that they're all... They're all in the lodge, yeah. Okay. We were so close. We totally forgot about the... Well, I forgot about the wolf. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was one of those things where I assumed we would find it like I knew we I knew we didn't have it going into that but I assumed we would be explicitly given the Geiger counter at some point and we weren't really okay well it's 10.02 so we can do we have to have it out? Yes. Ah, much better. I was really cold. that the animal eyes are radioactive? Yeah. Like green. Yeah, because we did try and click on those. Does that mean that those lamps down there are radioactive? Because you're right. We need to be wearing, like, a suit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we for sure do. <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I do not doubt that we need to be wearing a suit. Oh, my gosh. I just got to that episode in The Expanse. No spoilies, but like, it ends on the cliffhanger where he's like, that was a really high dose of radioactivity. Oh, yeah. We're gonna die. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was a spoilie. <laughs> Sorry. There, I mean, there wasn't any context for it, so. Is that still in season one, or is that? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, how many episodes are in a season? I don't remember. I think it's like 10 to maybe like 13. At least the later seasons, it's like sh shorter seasons like that. 13-ish episodes, I think. Yeah, that episode 9, I think. Are we, uh, what am I missing? Is it not these animal eyes? It's just like somewhere else? I guess not. I think maybe those are just there so that you don't think... You aren't just like walking around and you're like, is this working? Hmm. Oh. That one up... Oh wait. nothing over here yeah it went up to like uh maybe like 11 or something over here um, yes there we go thank you okay um, lunch, and then back out. Back out. Yep. Very close. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost there. Sorry, I forgot to switch back over to my stream.
I do like how you have to make less meals as the game goes on, though. Yeah. That's a nice, <laughs> helpful thing. They're in yellow burn. Alright, the next one, also a hamburger. This one has one cheese, two lettuce. Two pickles, one tomato, one ketchup. Order up. Okay, this one, one cheese. The next one also wants a hamburger. I'll go get that one. One cheese, one lettuce, two pickles, one tomato, two onion, one mustard, one ketchup. Okay, this one should be done. Order up. This one wants a quesadilla too. All right, no cheese, lettuce. Uh, no pickles, one tomato, one onion, mustard, ketchup. Order up. All right, last two cheese, lettuce, pickles, tomato, mustard, ketchup, bam. Okay. Um, so, a little. Oh shoot, I forgot that. Oh. Okay. Okay. I can... <laughs> I feel like we're past that in game. <laughs> all right, like, all right. Let me... I'm sorry, we've almost cracked the case somehow, even though we're just really faffing about with Trapper Dan and stuff. How can I help you? Um, sure. Why do you have a radio hidden away in your room? How do you know about that? All I know is when I got done cleaning the moose head, that <laughs> compartment was open. And when sure, I looked at it, there was the radio. Smooth. Now you answer my question. I use that radio to communicate with my coaches. It's a special radio. It scrambles the signal so that my competitors cannot listen in. How did you know there was a Co secret compartment in your room? The first night I was here, I searched for bugs. Something which, due to the cunning of my competitors, I have become very good at. I discovered that by pushing on the moose eye, a compartment opened up. What I don't know is, did you really open that compartment by mistake, or were you up to something else? How do yep. I know you are I not mistake. working for them? Yeah. I'm no spy, Mr. Volkstaya. I'm just very observant. Who else have you told about the radio? No one. No Calm one. down about your radio. So if I find out you're lying, both of us would be very sorry. Uh, Chantal would like to use your name and picture on her website when she gets it up and running. Would that be okay? I'm sorry, but no. Oh, well, so much for that. Do you have any proof that your competitors are out there spying on you? When one has enemies, it's prudent to assume that they are always close by. They are here, Nancy. Make no <gasps> mistake. Well, all right, sir. I've disturbed you long enough. We'll talk again, I'm sure. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we're we, you know. <laughs> right, like I'm not sticking around, sir. I don't really care about your. Oh, there's no. So I guess you just flop it down there. Works for me. <laughs> She didn't fire us, so that's cool. Yeah, that's good. She wasn't um, like, you missed a breakfast. Once. Speaking of which, I'm going to save. Pick up the phone, Nancy. Oh my god. Oh my god. A clean guest is a happy guest, Nancy. Do the housekeeping now. What? What? 
What? What? God, do we just have to walk into the room? I, there were no signs. Am I, did I make that up? I don't see any signs. Um, game? It's me. Does it want us to find something? I don't understand. There's no, there is, that's our room. What? There's no laundry to do, ma'am. Can we leave now? Oh, that was really stupid. That was dumb. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Do you know that scene in Elf? Where he yes like <laughs> <laughs> the first time we played this, that's the first thing I thought of. He like turns away for a second, and he turns back, and he has like a pile of snowballs. <laughs> like, where is Nancy getting these snowballs? So <laughs> I don't know. Is two enough? Uh, usually, yeah. <clears throat> okay, we have the wolf token. This is such a weird I don't Yeah. Is Nancy like maybe it's maybe it's the radioactivity and she can't walk straight. <laughs> If you pulled out the guy you're counter right now. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 Not good. Not good. Not good. Giving me a fallout flashbacks. Yes. It's the left. Yay! A black snowmobiling. Oh, I thought that was a radiation suit, and I was like, "Now we get." <laughs> I'd sure like to know who this belongs to. All right. Let's look around. Or is this like end game right now? Okay. You see, Brea, this bag must belong to Lou. Oh my gosh. It's full of explosives. Holy Lord. Who is the one who's been making those craters? What a liar. He lied to me. He has been looking for dinosaur bones. Of course he has been looking for dinosaur bones. We read that in his journal. Yeah, he told us that. Hello? There's someone in here. No. Hello? Hello. Nancy? <gasps> Yanni? What are you doing here? I was skiing, but when I passed the needle, I saw that there was a door in it. A door which was open. So I took off my skis to look, and now I am here. What is this place? 
Mm. All I know is, I found a bag, Lou Talbot's bag, and it's full of explosives. Lou is the one who has been blowing up things. He is the bomber. He's been excavating dinosaur bones. He may be responsible for a lot of the other stuff that's been going on around here, too. You must stay here and guard the bag. I will ski back to the lodge very quickly and tell the handyman to call the authorities. Then I will return. You will be safe? Perhaps I should stay. No, no, you go. I'll be fine. I will hurry. Looks like Yanni dropped something. It's that thing he's always wearing on his arm. Hey, <coughs> Yanni! You dropped something! Yanni? <sighs> She's got a glove from that snowmobiling suit Lou left behind. Wait a minute. What she just did means the scent on that glove and the scent on that thing Yanni dropped are the same. Which means a person who's been wearing that snowmobiling suit and blowing things up is Yanni. Geophone data... uranium? Oh my gosh, he set the timer. It looks like he's about to blow up the needle. Oh Isis, my god. We've got to get out of here fast. Okay, good. I was like, please don't. Make me have to do something in 30 seconds. Because <laughs> it's not going to happen. We're definitely going to die at least once. <laughs> Yanni's getting away. Not today. There's a wolf on the case. What in blazes happened here? Ollie, I need to borrow your snowmobile. I'll explain later. Oh, here we go. Brace yourselves. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, somebody's been real busy out here with the snowmen. <laughs> Am I just supposed to follow him, or...? Uh, I can't remember if you need to, like, come off, or if there's, like, whoa. What the fuck? I feel like that just gave that to you. Or if there's, like, an end goal. Oh, there we go. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> well. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> you probably you got tried to kill us. a little bit of a concussion. Yanni owned up to everything. He tainted the potato salad with bad mayonnaise. He iced down the back stairs. I forgot the about the bad potato sauna. salad. He blew up the bunkhouse using the clock he took from Guadalupe's room. And he left those pictures of Bill Kessler for me in the sauna. Although he swears the door got stuck by accident in order to cast suspicion Bullshit. on someone else. He did all this because he wanted everyone to leave Icicle Creek Lodge. Why? Because it turns out that he was actually spying for the government of Fredonia, which had sent him to Canada God. to look for uranium. Apparently, his superiors hoped to secretly mine what he found and smuggle it back to Fredonia. What they planned Whoa. to do with it then, even Yanni didn't know. But he insisted that he never meant to hurt anyone, and that he really was the best cross-country skier in the world. Unfortunately, he'll never get a chance to prove that now. <laughs> He's Chantana's a terrorist. Phones, yeah, I mean... <laughs> it seems that Yanni's shenanigans made the nightly news, not just in Canada, but in the States. And as a result, people have been booking stays right and left, much to her delight. When I told her and Ollie how Isis had helped me, they were truly amazed. Hopefully, from now on, Ollie will think twice about pulling out his rifle every time he sees a varmint. As for Isis, Guadalupe called me that very night and told me she'd found a wolf sanctuary that could do I could tell from the way the volunteers from the sanctuary treated her when they came together that she'll be in good hands at her new home. But still, it's sad that through no fault of her own, she could never run free again. 
They said it's possible that she might someday be released back into the wild, but not very likely. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed anyway. Hmm. Cracking the case you've been awarded the title of Snow Monkey for your love of snowball fights. <laughs> That's us. That's us. We love hitting little girls in the face <laughs> with snowballs. When Beth suggested we head to New Orleans for a short vacation, oh, I thought it was a knowledge. great idea. The French Quarter, fantastic food, awesome music, friendly people. But all it took was one little side trip to check on a friend of Ned's, and suddenly everything got very strange. A recent death, a musty old mansion, a disturbingly yes. odd curio shop, a garden where only secrets seemed to grow, and something as ancient as it was terrifying. It's Join me on my next adventure, Legend of the Crystal Skull. Yes, this one, when I was a kid, genuinely scared me. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those. Fun. What's, um, let's see. Hold on. Let me power this off. No, that's okay. Um, yeah. What are like the general vibes of it? Cause I'm going to try and dress up a little bit for like the games moving forward. Um, so yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like it's like Mardi Gras kind of no, New Orleans. No, but they do lean into <clears throat> New Orleans stereotypes. I mean, um, I'm like sure. accents and stuff. Well, yeah, I'm not going to be out here trying to do a fake Cajun accent, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> but... <laughs> we could do, oh, like... We you could that. do, like, Mardi Gras beads or... I don't know. It's very spooky. Um, it's kind of nice. It'll be, like, right when spooky season is starting. yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I'll I'll think on it. Um, okay. I'm sure I can figure something out that's like easy and cheap. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, I'm starting. Um, actually, was making a list today of spooky games because in mm -hmm. October I want to start playing some like scary games that I've never played before. Yeah. Um so like I've never played either of the Little Nightmares games. Oh, so good. So I think I'm going to play those. Um there's a game called Inside which I've heard is like a little indie game that's kind of like not scary scary but like spooky. Um yeah. So I might, I don't know. I don't know how long the Little Nightmares games are, but those are my top priority. They're not too long. You yeah. You probably do them in um, like, two or three sit-downs. Okay. Yeah, so that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, and so as I was doing that, I was also um, looking up like alternative games for like if you like the nancy drew games you'll like this yeah right um so i was thinking if you wanted to once we do finish the nancy series we can start we can play other games that are new to both of us totally yeah um yeah i, I mean like there's a t like a million and a half sherlock mm. holmes games um yeah so we can play like the best of those. I don't know if I'm interested in playing like every single oh. one of them because I don't think they're connected like the Nancy games are. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, so the Sherlock Holmes, um, there's a game called Overboard where you play as the murderer and it's Ooh. supposed to be really fun um, and really replayable. So... Yeah, I don't know. I've got a nice little list going, so it should be fun. But yeah. Yes. My... Yeah, and if you want company during any of your spooky games, let me know. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I will let you know. Um, yeah, so my priority right now is finishing, well, Nancy and finishing out the Rusty Lake series. Um, mm, yes. 
I need to play Paradise next, so I'm going to try and stream Paradise maybe tomorrow if I'm feeling like it, maybe Sunday. Um, Did you finish the Cube Escapes? Yes. Nice. I got to go watch this. <laughs> yeah, I did. I finally finished it. Um, I played the cave the other day. I was going to sit down and play the cave and like at least start Paradise, um, but it was way longer than I thought. Like most of the mm. um, Cube Escape ones short. were pretty short. There was a couple that were a little longer, but the cave was actually like I think it was like a two hour stream, and I was like, well, Whoa. like I could yeah. I could have gone like an hour into Paradise, but I don't know. I just figured I'll just cut it. It's easier to put together on YouTube and keep everything separate that way. So yeah, yeah. fair. That's the plan. So I will be back either tomorrow or Sunday for Rusty Lake. And then, yeah, Lauren and I will be back sometime in the next week for Crystal Skull, right? Yep. I can't, I always think I'm saying it wrong because that's the Indiana Jones oh, movie. Right. <laughs> and so I think it's like something else, Chris, like it's Crystal something else, but no, they're just both named Crystal Skull. Crystal Skull. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for playing with me tonight. And Teensies. thanks everybody for stopping by and saying hi and watching and have a great night. Bye. Bye.